So I picked this area to go to to show you how to snare because there's a lot of black-tailed jackrabbits and in Nevada they're an unprotected species so I only need a trapping license to snare them. Um, if I was going to hunt them they're unprotected so I wouldn't even need uh, a hunting license but to trap in Nevada no matter what you're trapping you need a license to trap. So this is a good area. This wash in front of us right here isn't so good, but these uplands up here, I've seen rabbits up there. So we're going to take a walk through there and we're going to see if we can find some trails and some obvious areas where the rabbits have been and see if we can get one. One of the keys to trapping in the desert is uh, to look for the trails. And you've got to look inside of things, underneath things, in between things. So we've got this tree here and we need to go underneath it and see what's going on underneath here. There we go. So there's a little bit of droppings down here. Right in here, if you see there, there's droppings there. Not rabbit, but that's okay. At least we're in the right track. We know we're thinking the right way. And these little bushes and shrubs in here too are also really good to look under. They're all over. And the thicker they are, the better. So we should check these out too. You want to look in and around. If you see any holes, check the holes out too, because there can be smaller like pocket coffers in there. There we go, see? There's some droppings right there. So that's a good thing. So when you find the droppings, then look around. There right inside of here. So let's take a big look at this. That's that looks for like from far away. And if we get in there, we got all kinds of rabbit sign. This right here where it's been chewed away, that's all rabbit. If you look inside here, there's poop down there. Got droppings. So that's the kind of thing we're looking for. If you can see all the orange in there, that orange is where the rabbits have eaten the bark off. So this is really good sign. So not only when you find that do you see there's good sign and see on this one. Now let's take a look at this plant, especially if we were new to an area. So here's this plant. Take a look at it from far away. See what it is. See the species. See how it grows. See the area that it's growing in. And then come back once again. I always look at leaves two or three times because they look a lot similar sometimes. And how it grows. And now when we go to other areas we're going to look for this same kind of bush. Because we can see that the rabbits are eating it. And we're going to put another trap there if we have one. So here right next to us is the same kind of bush. But this one's not eaten away at all. So I would guess because it's in the open and it's a little bit older and maybe because it's not doing as well. These are more pale green than that one over there. So maybe it's the paleness that we're looking or the um, the more of a rich color we're looking for. I'm not really sure yet. We don't know enough. And now that we know kind of what we're looking for as far as the plants that the rabbits are eating, just take a pan around and see if you can see any more. There's one right in front of us there. There's a bunch of them. All right, well, let's check out this one right in front of us. So we come over here, and hopefully, if we're right, it's got a nice rich green color. It's kind of protected there, yep. See, there's that orange in here. And that orange is our marker to tell us that we're on the right track, that there's rabbits. So now we're just looking for an area that's constricted. So we can set our snare in that area. So right in there is a really good spot to take to put a snare. I'm going to follow it with my finger and hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it goes right up there, the tip of my finger, and it's underneath all of this stuff. So it's hard to see from that top angle. So I'll try to get down and see if you can see through there. But there's kind of a tunnel. So we're going to set our snare in that tunnel where it's kind of constricted. All right, we got our snare here, and now I just need to find a place to put it. And as I look around, 
a couple of considerations. One, like we said before, you want that tunnel. So we've got a nice constricted tunnel. We also need something significant to anchor the snare to because they're going to pull and pull hard. And right there, where it's really orange, is nice and thick. It's about a finger and a half or two fingers thick. So I'm going to attach the snare there. I'm going to run it out. See, so follow my finger right into this tunnel right here. And we're going to put our snare in that tunnel. So there's a stout stick that that is attached to. It's wrapped around the stick. And then we follow that down. And there's the actual snare right in here. Now look at this distance right here. That's about two fingers distance. You can go up to three. And I got the loop is from right here around to there. That might be a little bit big, but I've learned that the size of the loop is not quite as important as I used to think. So if you, you want to get their head, and for rabbits you want them to get their ears through without springing the snare too bad. All right, it's the day after we set the trap, we're gonna go out and check it. One of the parts of uh, snaring is you gotta remember where you set your snares. So right here is the original one that we saw that had the chewings on it right here. It has the hole in it. And then we saw that kind of paler green one and that one. And right over the top is this where we set our snare. And that kind of green bush right there. So let's hopefully no. oh yeah look at that awesome great black eared jackrabbit that's exactly what we were going for good deal so he didn't really kick around very much that's good this snare killed him quick these are really really good snares I got them from a buddy up in Alaska he was our guide when we went doll sheep hunting last year and I bought a bunch from them. He gave me a few and then I'm like these are just fantastic so I bought 50 of them. Great snare so yep we did it right. Came in, must have come in through there and probably through that other side from the far end there and then came in through here. That's how I had it set to, to get them so it looked like it worked. Yeah and there's not much damage around the area you can see so that means this rabbit died very, very quickly, which is really good. I love it when that happens. I don't like things to suffer, so this is great. Hardly any damage to the area. He went quick. All right, that's great. Let's eat. Got loins and the hindquarters and the tenderloins.